Like, I don't know. It, it kind of seems like a lot of games, it's, it's, it's underrated. Even though you think it should be kind of obvious. It's locked. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, it seems like the keys just use automatically. Just like that gold one did. 209. Okay, so yeah, 108 is going to be down here. We just got to go to the first floor to the right. I don't know where the gold key goes. It could be one of these staff rooms, actually. Or one of these two. Not that one. No. It could also be the one all the way down to the left over there, but let's go to 108 first. Yeah. There's something on top. Oh. Well, I mean, just use a chair. Push it. Oh, yep. Well, I fucked up a little bit, but... Uh, yeah. Games like Doki Doki Literature Club, Amnesia, Dead Space, and the like were carried a fair bit on their sound design, Dead Space particularly. I mean, I think you're right, although I can't say I played all those games. I played Dead Space a little... No, I played Dead Space 2 a little bit. I don't even know if I played the first one, and if I did, it was not much at all. But yeah, like Doki Doki Literature Club, Amnesia, I've played. Uh, I would agree. I think the... Although Amnesia, I'd say its strongest point was definitely its visuals. It had some good... Uh, no, you're right, though, because I'm thinking of, like, the, the water part. That was very much carried by its sound design. So, yeah, I, I think it's underappreciated even by me, apparently, because I forgot about that. But Amnesia was definitely a very well-rounded game. I mean, like... There was some fucking... I remember this one painting in that game. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if it rubbed everyone the same way. Or if anyone else remembers that painting. But there's that one fucking painting in Amnesia. That was so fucking scary. Like, like it, there was just... So, it was, like, unsettling. And I played... I played Amnesia... That's one thing I have to say also about Amnesia. Is it clearly works very well. Because... I played it with, like, two friends. We were sitting on the couch, switching off it when, whenever we fucked up or something, or just every once in a while, like, at the end of a, a, a section. Um, so, you know, like... Oh. Oh, the piano's playing. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, that fucking got me, too. No, but I was just gonna say, to finish that thought, not leave that hanging, is like, uh, it was still scary, even playing with two other people. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just came in and, and the piano looked nice, so I... Sorry, I yelled at you. I'm very surprised that this is a real person that we just ran into. Who are you, then? I'm David. I'm sort of... looking for a guy? What about you? The room switching scares me more than anything else. I know, right? That fucking RPG maker room switch. Like, you couple that with anything. Like, if there's anything that happens when you switch rooms, it's fucking... Like, it's it, it's just automatically scary. Like, it's... And they used it well right there. Like, because they switch rooms and then it's fu fucking moving. And then a scream. And like, you know. I'm sissy. Hmm. Is that a callback? Is that, don't be such a sissy? What? What is this game trying to tell me with that one? What's the symbolism be behind the name sissy? Is there a deeper sissy lore here that I should be... That I should be, uh... Knowing? Like, what's the... What? Okay. M maybe it's different in Japanese. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. I'm, it's just this little box decorated with rupees, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a little longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, though. If you see a man about my age... Would you tell me? Okay. I'll, 
I'll be going then. Uh, David, you be careful too. She plays the piano pretty well, by the way. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Maybe she was the old tenant's GF. That's kind of what I was thinking. That, like, she's actually a ghost and she's the she's the girl. You know, like, she's the one that he was talking about in the, in the notes. Uh, I would not be surprised by that. I still can't go in the bathroom here. I don't know why. That would be the, the obvious choice. Um, and considering this game is, like, a series of classic choices, I would not be too surprised if that ends up being the case. But at the same time... I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Wire cutters, I'm not really sure what we would need that for. There was no room. Oh, there's wire around the doorknob. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, duh. <laughs> that's, that's pretty simple, actually. Full miscellaneous goods. Miscellaneous goods. What is that? Wait, what kind of paper? Crumpled paper. Four chapters of the book mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. A notebook. O X. Door in the. R Is that just supposed to be like day month, but like it's not important, so they don't tell you? Because that's interesting, actually. Door in room one hundred six bathroom needs fixing. Oh, that's why we can't go in there. We just didn't. We we didn't just not feel like it. Keep the, oh no, that's a different room. Owner's room. No doorknob. Look through the hole. I hear something. Someone locked in there? Should find some way to open it. Yeah, don't ask them. Don't don't shout, hey, is there someone in there? No, let's just go look for <laughs> And don't call the police like Okay, whatever, man. Uh, 106 would be over here, right? 102, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Am I going to get locked in here? I'm going to get locked in there. Oh, no, that door's... Oh, I see. A doorknob. Oh, yeah, that journal mentioned something about room repairs. Hmm. Would it work on that door without a knob? It's the same kind. Okay, you didn't have to... You didn't have to handhold me there, game. I, I saw that, like, two seconds ago. I knew that that's what I needed to do with the doorknob. You know? Like, that's a little handholdy for that simple of a puzzle. But, oh, okay. Inner monologue. That's fine. Novels, magazines, book of the month. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There's also something under the table, I think. Did I not see something shine there? Am I... No, I guess I'm just seeing things. Trap door, though, and this. I don't know what's going on with that. Tile seems loose. Hmm... Stomp on it, I guess. Uh, you know, you, uh, you know, I think you're gonna fall through the floor if you do that, considering there's a trap door here. Won't open. I guess we're going down. I guess we're going down. Oh. Oh. No. I, I mean, I guess we are going down, but that was okay. Well. <laughs> there's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? And it goes. Maybe I should check this out. Ooh. Good. I haven't heard water droplet sounds this this good since I uh since I listened to Fishman's. Can't see a thing. I need a light. I I've got a light. I like that it... Okay, all right. Oh, you know what? I like that. that. It's just little things. Like, they don't just open your inventory for you to tell you, like, you need to go get a light. Like, you should just know you have a fucking light. Or check your inventory if you don't know. 
Uh, are you okay? Oh, there's a person? There was a hole. Hey, were you locked in here? That's supposed to be... Huh? Nani? Wh what? Are, are, you, are you okay? Whoa! Whoa! Stay back. Don't come near me. Oh, ooh, whoa, okay. He was nowhere f fucking close to me. Crap! Let go! Press confirm to shake off. Oh, oh, okay, alright. Pant. Pant. Oh. You're supposed to put stars around the pants or something, you know? What was that? Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. <laughs> what do you mean, can't have been human? The, if you break your neck, you cease to be a person. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it, it couldn't have been real. It, I must just be seeing things. I, I'm just so tired is all. I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? I actually think it's a game over if you try walking around with the, without the lighter. That's that's kind of neat, actually. Let's save. I really should save more often. Uh, maybe she's returned to the piano room? No. I have some other keys, don't I? I have a brass key. Whoa! Fuck, man! <laughs> Dude, that one got me! Shh! Shit! Ooh, ooh! <laughs> Jeez! All these other ones, I've been able to just like sit back and like, like I'm a fucking critic. Like, ooh, that was a good scare. Hmm. Ooh, nicely done. But that one like fucking got me. Ooh. Is that sissy? Oh! Nani! Sissy, what happened? I... I went to the window and the floor gave way. Wh what should I do? Jump. Uh, no, no, I can't. I'm slipping. Just jump. There's no time for permission. I'm gonna, it's gonna crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Uh. I think I see her arms, so I think she's good. That was close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? It's Jeff the Killer, but upside down. <laughs> Sissy. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I... It's okay, Sissy. <laughs> but twist of the century. The meaning behind the name Sissy was that... She's a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. I'm sorry, and I know you were scared. But it's fine now. Don't cry. Uh. I'm, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. Must be important if you came here all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it! I have to find it. Shake up my water again. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present, or...? I'm gonna have to fill up my water again soon, by the way. It's a present for my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Ah, uh, I, I see. <sighs> You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much either. Just he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? He he. <laughs> what a strange guy, David. 
am not. There's just some things I want to ask. I don't know what he looks like because, uh... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should be- I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. She said she's getting going, but didn't she say she's not gonna leave? Well. <laughs> Boyfriend dropped. Exactly. Yeah, like, that's- that's a no-go. Sorry. That's, uh, you're no longer, uh... You're no longer in the runnings, babe. Look around a little more. Okay. Um, at the end of the hall, maybe? Or maybe up where we were at the end of the hall. That would kind of make sense. Or even the room that we were in, actually. There might be something, you know, like, just... Although we were in here before, right? Yeah, because that's the one with the cracked mirror. So, no. Uh, end of the hall. Key might open. No, that's the library, right? Well, I mean, I do have that key. But if it was something I could open with a key, oh, I smoke. If it was something I could open with a key, you think it would already it would have already ran into it? Maybe it's something, maybe something has changed. The basement door's open. See, that's kind of what I figured. I figured it was going to be over here. You know, because a big earthquake just happened, the floor fell down, so. Yeah. Ooh. I thought for sure he was going to be, like, fucking right there. Oh, he's gone. Ooh. Something here. Bronze key. Hmm, that's kind of scary in its own way, just that, like, something big happened like that, and then you go back and there's, there's nothing. The floor just dropped in a second floor room, think about this. Oh yeah, so it would have been the first floor anyway. But I was fucking right, I went to the right place, so don't, don't patronize me. <laughs> Although now, yeah, it would make sense to check out the first floor underneath that. But actually, nothing happened in any of these. So, yeah. yeah. If there was some monster in the basement, I would have I would have put something heavy over the top of the damn door. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're like a horror protagonist, and generally not not the smartest people. Uh, you can you can give him a little bit of leeway with that one. It's like you know. You're in a scary situation. You're not going to be thinking like like the most logically necessarily. You know, you're not going to be able to keep your head cool. But yeah. Probably could do a bit better on that front. Oh, there we go. Ooh, a bar. I'm getting kind of getting some shining vibes. Not, not really, just the fact that it's a hotel with a bar in it. <laughs> and it's horror. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. OX. A toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only thing, only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage. All this silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this- so it- okay. Plus the passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Okay, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright future. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? Passcode on food is pretty absurd. A glass. Empty beer bottles. Empty beer bottles. Yeah, okay. So the passcode is based on the book, which change month, changes monthly. 
The book for this month is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but I'm just going to make sure I don't have to, like, read that. Because I'm thinking, like, if I don't read it, he won't, it won't be acknowledged that I know it. You know what I mean? I mean, I did read it before, so you think it'd be fine. Oh, <laughs> I was looking away for a second. Uh, yeah. It probably we're gonna, like, select from a list or something. What? Really? Staff only, locked to the passcode. Well, fuck, I know the passcode. Well, I mean, I guess I don't know it exactly, but I know that, like... Okay, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh! Oh! We gotta go look in the library. Yep. That's it. Okay, yeah, definitely. So it'll be like here, because C to D, Dr. Are you serious? Oh, it was like the tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, right? So it'll be a the. Yeah, or yeah, the strange, so either T or S. Okay. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, oh, here we go. Chapter one. Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of rugged... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to read the, the whole fucking book. That evening, Mr. Utterson came... Wait. Chapter 4. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. Ooh. Let me write, to, write down this code, because I'm not going to... 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. No way! That monster did it really... Uh... It's coming this way. I gotta escape. <laughs> yeah, fucking jump. Uh... Oh. Huh? What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was... I can't believe such a thing exists. There's no way it's coming back now. The room under locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see- It's almost like you should have locked the fucking basement. I knew it would be dangerous for her, except I guess you wouldn't be able to continue because you need that key. But you didn't know that. Um, it's- so it's either 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, or it's 3, 6, 7, 9. Probably 3, 6, 7, 9. <laughs> Yeah, it's th the missing chapters. Three, six, seven, nine. Easy. He had enough power to push him easily, but is too scared to just fight. Yeah, he's a big fucking autist faggot. He doesn't, yeah, I mean, so I... I see something shining, but it's out of reach. Uh, okay. Grab the knife. Yeah, I mean, if you can just push this guy around, you arm yourself with a knife and suddenly you're, you're fine, right? Smells rotten. All the food is rotten. Oh, what'd that say? Hinges are too rusted, right? Okay, take one of these, maybe? Uh. Okay, I was thinking you- Oh, there's a fucking ladder right there. Got the key to 209. I like how they saved on resources by showing it from this direction, so you can't even see that there's a ladder. The monster's gonna come back, by the way. I call that 100%. The, like, the monster is going to be in a room where it doesn't make any sense for it to be. Six. Okay, okay, okay. What? Whoever was here is also a fan of not cleaning things up. Is this a photo? There's something under the pieces. Found a notebook scrap. I don't need her memory anymore, because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good or and bad, and all the memories inside of me, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's definitely me. I'm definitely the, the guy from before who wrote all these messages. 
because I say I need to forget, it's me. And the girl walking around is my old GF, who has also forgot everything because she's probably dead or something, or maybe I'm dead or somebody's fucking dead. That's going to be my guess. I haven't slept much. Don't sleep here. So he brought this photo to mend... Don't sleep at your house either, though. To mend his broken heart, huh? I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Nah. Sissy! Well, there you are, David. A little close. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There's lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong? It's probably in the room with the monster. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But, Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like the dark, scary places either, but there's no, there's no reason to tease me like that. I'm not some kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? By the way, the boogeyman is, uh... <laughs> it's a sequel to this game. Hey, I'm here. Let me get that rocksmith cable. Dylan, you should have told me first. I have no idea where it is. I'd have to look for it. <sighs> let me see if I can find it real quick. All right. Apparently, Dylan is, is like, in my place right now, so I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll be back in like one second. Hey, all right. Uh, welcome back. You know, it took took a second. Had to find the rocksmith cable <laughs> that I borrowed from Dylan. Didn't even find it, but I had bought a new one at this point, so I just gave him my new one and uh, went with that. You know, I'll fucking find his and then just use that. But uh, yeah, sorry that took a second. We we were looking for the rocksmith cable and then we found it and then he started talking about how much he likes my Miata and how how fucking sweet it is. Uh, so we were talking about that for a little bit. <laughs> sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. That's what happens when you get interrupted. Uh, let's get back into it. Look, I don't like the dark- oh right, yeah, yeah, Boogeyman made a joke about that being the sequel. By the way, it, it seems like Jimmy, for instance, you know, you're taking that as a joke. Boogeyman, where you're constantly ch chased by a crazy 80s disco dancer, you know, it's good, but I don't know if you're aware of the fact that I'm not joking. <laughs> the Boogeyman actually is the sequel to what to this game. I, I'm like 90% sure I'm not getting the game the name wrong. Like, like if I type in the Boogeyman game, although that might pull up some weird shit, honestly. That's but uh, yeah, the Boogeyman. The third title in the Strange Man series. That's what we're playing, by the way. If you weren't aware, this is a four-part horror series. Uh, so this was actually very early foreshadowing. Sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. He, he, he. Don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? <laughs> the Strange Man series, what a name. Yeah, I believe the games are, it's like Crooked Man, then it's Hanged Man, and then Boogeyman, <laughs> and then like, uh, fucking Scary Man <laughs> or something. I'm sure it sounds much better in Japanese. Actually, no it doesn't. Japanese Strange Man would be like Hentai Otoko. That sounds fucking... That sounds way worse. Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist. But be careful, okay? You fucking pushed it over with your own two hands and you're just gonna... Tall man. No, wrong horror se series. Mm. <laughs> Mega man. I know. I'll go look in some- Oh, well, I was gonna say, he pushed this guy with his own two hands and he's not- he's not convinced that it's real? Like, there's- there's a difference between, you know, seeing something and feeling it. Like, yeah, you can play tricks on your eyes, but I don't know many tricks on your hands. What? Red writing? Was this here before? No, it wasn't. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Come to me, I'm waiting for you. I'm You're giving me mixed messages. 
Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Why? I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. Just fuck- Ooh. Just, just leave. I'll get caught if I- Yeah, don't go in there. Ooh. Okay, well, I uh, missed the door. I was gonna note that that thing is, is- I liked how fast it was. It gives it a nice horror vibe. I liked how it- Man, I hope I'm not too far back. Shit, do I have to go back down there? Fuck, when was this? Ugh. I mean, at least... At least we know what to do. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, it, it was at least after we got chased by that guy. We just need to go up here. Okay, alright. We, we skip the dialogue, it won't take too long. The crooked man is only here searching for Dr. Wowie. Did I love how much shitty production value Ma the Mega Man series has had, just like in general, with a bunch of different shit? Like, like the, uh, what is it? What am I fighting for? That? You know what, I, you know what I'm talking about? That's pretty well known, right? Mega Man like 7 or something? Let me see if I can... Yeah. Here, wait. Let me do you a favor and show you this one. Let me, uh, let me do you a big favor if you haven't seen this. Does this give away any incriminating information? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, let me just, uh, let me just do that real quick. Do this real quick. Ugh, a timeless classic. That is the real voice acting. That is actually the lines that they went with. That is, they, they listened to this and said, yeah, that works. Ah! <laughs> ah! No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? <laughs> Like, are you joking? Like, come on. No. Like, that's in the game. I, I, I love it, though. I absolutely love it. It wouldn't be the same if that game didn't have that. I never even fucking played the game. I never played X4. I only played the first X. But, the Mega Man Battle Network anime was hot stuff, though. I watched it like a tiny bit when I was younger, but I never, never really watched it much. Mega Man recognizing Guts Man by only his ass. That's another classic. Re reminder that Mega Man X1 isn't that good of a game. Now wait just a darn second. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Are you, uh, you trying to, you trying to start a fight here? Mega Man X is a pretty good game. Now, if you're gonna say other games in the series are better, then like, hey, maybe. You know, I'm not- I, I haven't played like many of them. But you're gonna say X isn't good, I'm gonna- I'm gonna fucking- When you- when you come over- over to this side of the country, Jimmy, we're gonna start a fight. Mega Man X isn't that good of a game. Next, you're gonna be telling me Mega Man 2 isn't that good. Or Mega Man 3 isn't that good. Any game with enemies that respawn the second they go off screen is a shit game. You know, you know, I'm just gonna have to disagree with you there. Just gonna have to, just gonna have to, just gonna have to disagree with you on that one. Now, I'm not saying Mega Man X is like the best Mega Man game. I kind of like, I like 2 and 3 better. I think they are better constructed, but Mega Man X is a pretty fucking good game. What what am I doing right now? I got a key. I got the bronze key. Didn't I thought that opened one of these doors? Have I not gone to the mm, This is the problem with not saving and then having to redo shit and you don't know where you are. 
It must be up left. I think that's the only one I haven't done yet. Which I thought I did, but no, I didn't. No, yeah, it's definitely up left. The vertical hallways in the final two stages are complete cancer. You know, when you start getting into specifics, I've, I've just got to be honest and say I haven't played the game in a long-ass fucking time. So I really can't, like... Can't say much more, you know what I mean? Where the fuck am I supposed... What am I missing here? <laughs> I've done this once already. Was it one of these doors? No. No. I already checked these. Uh, no I didn't. Alright, yeah, yeah, you read this, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, we gotta go get the passcode. So, now we go to the library. Oh, don't, don't. I've only played 9 and 10 mainline. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, you're... <laughs> okay. You're missing out there. You're telling me you haven't played the first Mega Man? Dude, you're... You gotta play... Ma you are missing out big time. Those first three games are, like, masterpieces. You, you, you gotta play some Mega Man, man. Uh, I already know what the code is, because I wrote it down from before we died, so, <laughs> so I don't... It didn't let me just input it, though. There's gonna be a spooky guy at the end of the hall. No, you're missing out, though. Played a bunch of the RPG ones in Game, Game Boy Advance and DS. Don't remember anything, but liked them. Played a fair bit of Battle Network. Battle Network is actually the one that I'm the most, like, disappointed with myself for not playing. I've played, like, the ones that came after it. The fucking Star Force ones. Which, honestly, pretty good. I know that a lot of people didn't like them because they were supposed supposedly like a step down from uh, Battle Network. But I haven't played Battle Network. So, like, the, uh, those fucking Star Force games were pretty good. I liked them. Had good, you know, good combat, cute girls. What more do you need? But, uh... Yeah, I haven't played I haven't played that one. I played Mega Man Legends, not much, but I I played it I remember playing like a demo or something when I was a kid, and then like a few years ago I got it again and played some of it, but I didn't beat it. Honestly, I'd be super up for playing that on stream. Even though it's probably Nah, it's probably not a slow game. Honestly, if this is more of a slow game than it'd probably be. Mega Man Legends is a cool ass game. It's very disappointing that the third one got uh got cancelled. I'm sorry to even bring that up. Legends never die, but uh, Mega Man's a little a little dead. At least that Mega Man. I mean, I guess they are make they did make nine and ten, which were supposedly good. <laughs> oh yeah, Dylan doesn't even Dylan doesn't know that uh, that Jimmy is coming to this part of the part of the part of the country soon for Dalton's wedding. I guess you guys probably don't know that either. But uh, just just an interesting side note is that. Uh, Yes, some person that me and Dalton have never met in real life, only know online, is going to come to his his wedding. Two people, actually, that he's never met in real life, and that he only knows just the, their voices. He's, he's, he has invited to their, his wedding. But you know what? We live in the future, you know what I mean? A friendship can blossom, even on the battlefield. And by that I mean the internet. I'm sorry, that was a bit forced. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we, we did this. Please don't say this on recording. Sounds so autistic. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm sorry, the truth comes out, but... Creepy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. It's a little weird, but like... Okay, let's fucking skip this shit. We know all this. Yeah, yeah. Although I really should... I need to save the moment this is done. Mega Man is still stuck on the moon. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sad. Which, spoilers by the way, but I haven't even played that game and I know that. Just from like, os osmosis. So. 
So yeah, I never played Mega Man 2. Only played the first one and didn't even play that much. I liked it. I liked it. I got to that, like, I think I got to that boss that was, like, inside of a lake or something, you know, like. I don't remember exactly, but. Oh, right. No, don't, don't. I have to go in here, but, like, I really should not. Although I know a lot of people say Mega Man Legends isn't actually that good, you know. I, I, I've got fond memories from a couple years ago, but <laughs> but I don't know. I kind of just really like Mega Man, and that game is pretty comfy. Are you? I didn't save. I did. Mm. Yes, I did. I did save. <laughs> okay, so I didn't make a mistake. I just have brain damage. Okay, well, that's good to know. Short-term memory loss is preferable to having fucked up that save. Maybe try one of the rooms you can actually get into. Oh, yeah, I su I, yeah that makes sense. I thought I would have just enough time to get away. I thought I just had to be, like, really close. Like, I just had to be, my timing had to be, like, fucking perfect. Or I had to get away from him cl quicker in this room. Yeah, mm, unless I go to the right, which maybe I do. It's a good thing we saved, because otherwise it'd be fucking hell. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we could go back into that room that we were just in. So I guess let's try that next. <laughs> Trial and error. Makes the horror a little less... A little less effective, but not even that less effective. Because honestly, they do a really good job at the... The spurts that he moves in. Making him so you can't really, like... You can't predict him as well. Ooh! Ah! Ah, fuck. <laughs> Case in point. I suppose. Try this again. Very happy this game doesn't have some sort of, like, save spot uh, system, you know? Also, not just a walkie-talkie this game. Although, I mean, this is... This is just talking. But, but like... It's got a little more to it. You know, it's got some, some avoidance. Okay, okay, okay. No. If you go to the right, he chases you even faster. I think you have to go to the left. I think you have to leave through the hallway. And the problem is just, you know, I should save again, just like right here. Yeah, I think you have to uh, just barely escape through the hallway. It's possible that there's a quicker way to get around him right here, and that actually carries over. Like, maybe I should go straight up and then around. You know? Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> if you just go straight forward, he doesn't know what to do. Well, hi. Oh! Ooh, okay, alright. Oh, okay. uh, well, you know, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Try this again. It's actually not what you want to do. You do not want to just go straight up because then your weight, well, walk into him. Well, I mean, it wasn't on purpose. I, you know, I mean, it, it is kind of smart. You just walk straight up and then the problem is you got to divert him a little bit. Okay. Oh. Okay, the way I was doing it before seems to be the best way to do it. Yeah, the problem is, he, he has a very basic AI as far as pathing to you. He seems to just take a straight line to you. And if he can't take a straight line to you, he'll move into a position where he can. So it does seem like this is the smartest way to do it. It's just like like that. Hmm. 
I think it does carry over. I think how far you are from it in like when you're leaving the room must influence it. Cause I got further than that before. Can I just leave? Am I not supposed to do this? I'm almost definitely, I just have to do that, right? <sighs> yeah. It is surprisingly uh, difficult. <laughs> Here's what I'll do, right? Go down here. Oh, never mind. He doesn't always do. Oh, maybe I need to go. Okay, okay. I don't understand, man. It seems like it's a it's a mixture of both. Maybe that what you do, like how fast you do it. Maybe there's something you can do in the room. I sub. Pose. I, I don't really see much that would be here, you know, like a, a glass, the book. Doesn't really, I don't really get the atmosphere of that's what I, uh, he does say I gotta do something. But all I have is a lighter. How about some of this? Oh. Guess I, that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Fuck. I can't fucking walk to do it. Uh, Alright. Okay, I didn't know I was supposed to fight back. I'm actually surprised. That's not... This guy was... Uh, yeah, you know, okay. Fighting back. I thought this guy was a pussy. So I didn't really even have- I didn't even really see that as an option, but okay. Okay, something else. I have another bottle. What?! <laughs> uh... Drop a ba banana peel in front of him. That, you know, that makes sense to me. Uh, was- is the room where there was the knife nearby? Because maybe I'm supposed to bash him with a bottle and then flee into the room with the knife? No, there's not the knife in here. No, that's way further away. I doubt- I doubt I throw the book at him. Throw a pie in his face. That should work. If I learned anything in clown college, it was that pies and banana fields- banana peels are uh, surprisingly effective against monsters because then they just feel dumb <laughs> if you can't take a monster seriously it loses all its power what else can I do I don't know man empty be uh he stopped shaking oh yeah okay, okay, all right hey what stop whoop stop Oh, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. <sighs> Let's go around. Ah! Mm -hmm. This is basically Toontown. Yeah. I'm thinking I need to get to the glass. I don't know why. I don't know why that glass would be any more effective than the beer bottle. But the, like, the glass stands out more than the bottle even does. So, like, I'm trying to get to that glass, but that's just really hard to maneuver over there without him catching me. Like, I can put myself in some situations where I get some time to think just by putting him across the table from me so he looks into my eyes like a star-crossed lover. But... That's about as much as I can get, you know? No! <clears throat> okay, I got really close. I got really close. I just stopped too soon. You should do one a one-off stream of a Toontown private server. Uh, maybe. I played Toontown when I was little. You know, younger. A little bit. You know, like, I didn't play it much at all. But I remember it being a thing that existed. And I remember trying... Pro you know, probably with my shitty computer, it probably didn't work. I had that problem a lot. That's why I played a lot of Flash games. <laughs> And even those, it's like I couldn't always run them at the highest settings. <laughs> like, you know? That's like when you know you've got a pretty... How did it work the first time, but not that time? 
That's how you know you've got a pretty bad computer, is when you're trying to, you're like lowering the settings on your Flash games. Which I guess would, well, yeah. I was going to say it'd be the equivalent of Unity games now, but those actually you would sometimes need to do that just because of how poorly optimized they are. Okay. I'm going to look very closely at the text he says, too, to see if there's anything, like, anything else he says, you know? So, like, can't do much alone, or this won't do much alone. I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Well, my guess, personally, would be the lighter. Yeah, okay, alright. I was just trying to find something to use that on, but I guess I just need to use it on him. Okay. He ran away. Whew. What the hell is that thing? I'm, I'm happy with that. See, I was wondering. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, we doused him in alcohol and then lit him on fire. Okay. Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? It's probably fine now, too. I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Is there one of those around? Finally, you start fucking listening to reason. Yes, get a knife. Jeez, I didn't really notice this before. Huh. Doesn't look like it doesn't look like a deer. It looks like that fighter from Tekken. I don't know where it was exactly. Not here. Oh right, it was in the storage. Yeah, the food storage. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah? A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. Oh, probably the play testers uh, didn't know that you needed to pick up the knife, so they, they added a little knife falling over, a little thing. It makes sense. Because there were a lot of a lot of play testers for this tiny little Japanese indie game. B -b 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 Blood? This wasn't here earlier. What's going on, Scoops? Follow the trail. Uh, hey Daphne, or whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs> Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was blood, or it was your blood. Were you hurt? Now the RPG aspects begin. Turn-based horror combat. Are you serious? My arm caught on some- I'd be very surprised. My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you got amne- Oh, anemia. <laughs> what if you got amnesia? You just forgot that it was a really bad cut. I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Hmm. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try and wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. Does it hurt? Or doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? I thought your name was Sissy. It's silly that I'm wandering, wandering around this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Ghost can't bleed, by the way. She's not a ghost. We are. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since. She might still be a ghost. But I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him. But it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Unless, of course, the former tenant is her. And, uh, we, the, the, the landlord was just wrong about it being a dude. 
or the conclusion that checks all the boxes but is also the most depressing is that he is the former tenant. Because that's not a girl. And that's why... Oh, shit. That's why their name is Sissy. I really hope that's not the case. I really hope that's not where this... Although it would be pretty funny if that's where this game went. I thought I could forget it. Because, look, she's talking about she came here to forget everything about that person. She talked about the special place. All the same stuff that that guy, the tenant, was talking about in all of his notes. Leading you to maybe believe that either she's the girlfriend or that she left the notes. Which, when combined with the information we have from the landlord, either means that the landlord's information is not reliable or she's a dude. That feel when you realize Scooby and friends were a bunch of hippie faggots. Yeah, I think Jimmy's right on that, like, F Freddy was not much of a... He wasn't really much of a hippie. He was, like, definitely the straight man. In fact, really, it was just Shaggy and maybe Scooby who were, like, hippie types. You know? Freddy was pretty straight-laced, other than his, uh, you know, like, fixation on traps. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness. But when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. Oh, so you're just like a, a husk. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry. I, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Yeah, that whole dropped because it was a boyfriend might not be over, but dropped because it's a dude might, you know, might be in effect now. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Got a key to somewhere. <laughs> Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Why don't we fucking leave? Because we gotta wait for her to rest up? Like, carry her out. Like, just just leave. Ooh. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like, like what? Why are you talking to the voices in your head, David? You're always a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? She's the alter ego of us. She is the girl version of us from another dimension. Because this is the exact same stuff that we got broken up for. Is the same as hers? That, that, that conclusion is a little more tenuous, but... I don't mean to. I mean, I tried to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh, yeah. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat ever anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in a pain, if I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be okay. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be better, both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out! Surely! <laughs> Surely we can talk this out! Don't call me Shirley. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Hmm. Alright, well, is it incest to fuck your female self from another dimension? Well, with that question, <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to call it there. A little bit longer of a stream this time. Got a good four hours in, you know? But uh, I do have work tomorrow uh first day first day was supposed to be today but the guy forgot to call me in for work so i didn't go <laughs> taking advantage of the system anytime i can 
But, uh, yeah. It's been good. These horror... Both of these horror games have been actually, like, surprisingly good. Like, I mean, this one was supposed to be a classic, and I've heard good things about Tokyo Dark, but they definitely both... Looks are deceiving with both of these games. Uh, but they, it was it was good. Probably will continue both of these um, for Halloween. Yeah, I mean, no, that almost definitely. Uh, and also, we'll finish up Soma. Probably on the next stream, which will almost definitely be tomorrow. I'm just going to try and stream, like, basically every day until Halloween. There's going to be probably at least one night that I'm going to take a break to rest my voice and have a movie night or something. Which could be tomorrow, but either way, there's gonna be something tomorrow. If it's not, if it's not a stream, it'll probably be some, it'll probably be Soma or something. And if it's not, it might be Soma and something else, because we might not have that much left. But if it's not, it'll be a movie stream. Because uh, these spooky streams are good, comfy spooky streams. Thank you. Yeah, like that's, I like these a lot. These are good. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, I feel like, I always feel like there's something else I should say, but that doesn't make any sense. Why, why, you know, delay, delay all of this? <laughs> it's because I have trouble saying goodbye, okay? Uh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I'll see you, uh, bye-bye.